All right, what you're seeing here is uh, some dandelion wine that's being fermented. I've got uh, five gallon Bitter Boy fermenting bottle, one gallon here. This is these two are in stage two of the fermentation process. This one in the back here is a six gallon crock. That's in stage one. Uh, what's in here is a recipe. It's an old fashioned dandelion recipe. There's multiple ones out there. And that one is, as well as the two in the front, um, it's dandelions, about a quart of dandelions per gallon of water, boiled for about 30, 30 minutes. Um, and then uh, it's strained out, added to the crock. Uh, also, raisins, give it some alcohol. Uh, you got some oranges and some lemon, sugar, yeast, of course. That's all in there. This has been strained out. That's stage two. Uh, it'll ferment for oh, anywhere from three weeks to three months. Basically, when the activity stops, it's done, ready to be racked or bottled. Basically, siphoned out of there into bottles. You can see there's some activity going on. This one over here, this one over here is an airlock. It's got some water in there. It's kind of like a drain on a sink. You know, trap the, let the carbon dioxide go out. No oxygen in. Got a bone cork plug there. This one's a little different here. You can see it's bubbling. Uh, basically, you can see the action going on, coming up. Carbon dioxide's coming out. It's got a hose in there fed into the water so no oxygen gets in but the carbon dioxide comes out. So that's what we've got going on here. A little fermentation going on. Set this camera down and show you some other things. Oh, you see those two bottles down there? There's just deep rock waters. That's what I, I use for the uh, that stage two fermentation. Uh, let's give a little bit of this is a hydrometer. It's a test tube where you can take a sample of wine, put it in there, put this in, it'll float. The way this is read is hydrometer, basically straight water has a value of one. Heavier, meaning sugar in it, it'll rise up so it's got a value of one point something. One point goes up to a scale of 1.20 here. And then once it's done fermenting and you've got basically alcohol or uh, an alcohol percentage, uh, it'll be less than one. So it'll basically sink, float, or, or sink in the floating water line will be up towards the top, starting down here. And so there's a scale on there. So this particular batch is could have pretty high altitude alcohol content because it had a specific gravity or an SG of 125. So it's basically way up. And if it ferments down to something less than one, I could have, second scale here, I could have an alcohol percentage of somewhere around 15-16%. Basically the alcohol content is calculated. The difference between your starting specific gravity and your ending specific gravity and then you can multiply it out or just use the scale on here to determine what that value is. So, for example, uh, if the difference is between say 1.20 or 1.120 and 1.0, you would have 16% alcohol. It's got another scale on here and that's Basically, uh, it's related to the sugar ounces per gallon. So, you know, for sugar, I'd probably have 40 ounces per gallon at a scale of 
one five. I don't use that one. Probably won't use the alcohol one much. It's just SP. The the the, the SG is uh, really going to tell you when it's done fermenting, other than just looking at the process. So basically, you stick it in the uh, tube here, the sample. See where the liquid level is relative to the, uh, the scale. All right, so that's an SG meter gauge. All right, so that's the fermentation process. Like I said the uh, bubbling quite a bit here. And then, of course, up in there, it's bubbling, coming out of here, and then out. It's kind of dark in here, but you can see there's, uh, you may be able to see there's lots of bubbles coming up out of here, floating out of here. Well, that's the fermentation process, so hopefully it'll be good wine.